Hi, this is uh, Marlene Dinarius here, Evan. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about figured base or thorough base. And this book that we're looking at by Niccolo Pasquale, I'm not going to go into it in great detail, it was once extremely important. It's completely forgotten now. Um, if you want to master music, um, Haydn, for example, said you need to master thorough bass, you need to master solfeggio, not solfeggio as it's practiced now, but solfeggio as it was practiced in the great conservatories of Naples in the 18th century. And also um, just generally being able to play, um, to practice, to be able to um, play without a score in front of you. Now, this book um, is called by the Oxford uh, companion to music and I've got the 1944 edition of that at home under the heading figured bass it says this the great textbook of figured bass used by English musicians for the latter part of the 18th century was that of the Edinburgh violinist Pasquale published in 1757 some however preferred the book 1768 by J.C. Heck a German settled in London and then the, the, uh, the entry in uh, the uh, Oxford Companion continues. So good a property was a standard book on the subject in those days that the publishers of that Pasquale, the brothers Thompson of St. Paul's Churchyard in London, said that it was the foundation of their fortune. So this book was once an extremely important book for musicians. But for some reason, it's completely forgotten. You can find it online um, and it's in, available um, online to download. Uh, just search for Thorough Bass Made Easy into Google and it'll come up. Uh, if you, it doesn't come up straight away, just search for Thorough Bass Made Easy Pasquale PDF. Uh, it's an extremely good book and I have been slowly working my way through. Um, and it's uh, it's very, very good. I'm going to... Um, leave this part here, His Majesty's Royal License, because this was published at a time when books needed licenses. Uh, plate 1. So, you get an idea of the book here. Um, the author's address to the learners. As the following practical rules have been of considerable use to many of my own scholars, I think I serve the interest of music in general when I make them public, and if the method here laid down is carefully observed, I am confident this study will be found much easier than is commonly imagined. It was the advice of a noted painter to his pupils, Nulla die sine linea, Nulla die sine linea, no day without a line. The like advice I beg leave to address to you, let no day pass without some practice. And though this book doth not pretend to teach either the theory or the refined elegance of thorough base, yet I flatter myself that if diligently perused, that means looked through with great thoroughness, it may prove a good introduction to both. The rules and lessons being placed in that order which tends most to the ready progress of learners, I must likewise entreat that you never proceed to a new lesson till you are so far masters of what is past that you not only understand how it ought to be performed, but you are yourselves able to perform it with ease and above all in just and equal time. Let's continue on. The figures above the notes explained with directions how to use them. Thorough bass is performed by adding to the notes of the bass such chords as properly belong to them, so that while the left hand plays the bass note, the right hand at the same time plays three or four different notes along with it, not successively but together and at once. And from this combination of sounds results what is called harmony. But, 
as it would always be difficult and often impossible to guess at the precise chords which the composer intends should accompany the various notes of the bass. Noting, I'm just an aside here, that scores were frequently published without the bass. It was intended that the musician would be able to extempore uh, improvise the bass. This was the expectation. Um, without comparing that bass with its treble and other parts designed to be played or sung with it, as a remedy for this, figures have been introduced, which, being placed directly above the bass notes, give a full view at once of the chords that are proper to accompany them. So that, strictly speaking, to play thorough bass is to play the notes with the left hand and the figures with the right hand. Among the various chords in use, the chief, which is called the perfect or common chord, occurring more frequently than any of the rest, shall be first explained. It is marked thus, 8, 5, 3, from top to bottom, which signifies that together with any note of the bass over which the above figures are placed, the right hand is to play its third, fifth and eighth, or octave, and the manner of executing it will be best understood by an example. And he goes through this with various plates in the book, showing you what to do. I'm not going to go through the, um, the details here because it's a bit boring, uh, unless you actually have an instrument in front of you. Um, so this book, as I said, was a 18th century bestseller. And I think that if you want to learn thorough bass or figured bass, then uh, I've looked at a few of the books available. And I think there's a good reason why um, the publishers of this book said that their base of their entire fortune came from this book alone because it's extremely good and I highly, highly recommend that you download it if you're interested in learning how to improvise thorough bass or improvise Baroque music in general. Uh, this will give you a firm foundation and then an enormous store of, of knowledge of how to play um, off the top of your head to any tune that you yourself uh, make up at the keyboard because of course if you do make up a harmony then you'll be able to um, play the bass to the harmony uh, as you are going so to speak um, without the need for a score in front of you as musicians did and were expected to do in the 18th century so this is Niccolo Pasquale and his thorough bass made easy and uh, I hope you found this interesting if you are interested in this type of thing and I highly recommend that you go find the book download it print it up or look at it on your iPad or your e-reader or whatever it is that you have and uh, see if you find it as useful and clear as I myself do